Okay, that's all time for testing a uh, welder with the uh, 23,000 wire. Uh, changed the liner because my friend had a uh, had an issue with it. He tried to, to put in this bowl, which is uh, 23,000, and uh, said it was going bad. And he has the uh, the welding shop, and they said change the liner. So that's what I did uh, Friday. So I replaced the uh, the liner, and yeah, I'm gonna try. Uh, Putting in the uh, the roller and putting back the torch so uh, you can test it. I also changed the uh, the end of my torch here. I had the QT5, which is a longer uh, a longer one, and uh, we need we need as small as we can get because if we, if you want to do exhaust or uh, be in a tight spot, well, every little bit counts. So so that's the difference. So uh, it would come out to roughly here. So, uh, change that. It's not cheap, it's like $60 or something. But yeah. So, it's a PM255. It's the uh, multi voltage uh, welder, so it can run on 600 volt. Uh, that's what it was uh, originally, but uh, change that out to 220. And I'm just gonna put the torch back in and uh, change rollers and see uh, if she feels okay but first before I uh, change now to the small wire I'm gonna fix this you see there's a there's kind of a big crack there and I don't know how it happened but uh, looks like it uh, must have hit something a long time ago when it created a uh, stress fracture but yeah I'm gonna weld that up with the uh, 45 wires first and uh, I'll be good. I mean, it's only it's only quarter inch or three sixteenths. So three sixteenths. So it requires the uh, the larger wire. I'm gonna remove the bolt, the uh, kind of skid plate. So uh, need a ratchet and a fifteen. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, I, uh, I found that out because I cleaned up the uh, bottom of the engine because I wanted to make sure it was my front main seal, which uh, seems to be the case. As you can see, the, uh, the glistening there around. I cleaned all that up and uh, it comes back from there. So, either the front cover or uh, that seal, I'm pretty sure it's that seal. So, uh, yeah, and then when I cleaned up, I noticed this. Uh, nasty crack there which now it won't focus yeah there we go big crack here so uh, I don't know what it is how it happened but it was uh, it was there when I bought the truck so just gonna have to fix that this is another story uh, yeah it just leaks all over there but uh, yeah I'm gonna fix that up. Well, uh, the, the QT3 torch bit, uh, much better for me. Uh, yeah, I got more control, it just, it just, it just works better. And uh, yeah, I, I was just weaving in and out, but yeah, my feet is a little high. But uh, the good thing is, is, you see the heat discoloration on both sides. I really, really crammed it in there. So I'm pretty sure the whole metal, uh, the whole plate is uh, completely welded through. And on top of the uh, on top of the bead that's that's there, but yeah. Now I'm just gonna fill uh, the little spot here. I'd really like to straighten up this bend uh, before welding it, so I'm gonna try. Uh, maybe get a big big wrench and uh, try to fold it back over, and then weld the the little hand there. Where's my armor? Oh, here it is. Well, I guess that's going to be that because, uh, yeah, I don't have uh, enough room to swing the hammer. And, uh, yeah, at least it close the gap here. And, uh, the arm can, uh, can go down. Otherwise, it, uh, it was hitting this as if I ever need to remove it. But, yeah, the gap is closed. And, uh, I'll run with that and just weld these guys together. And it's going to be, uh, as good as new. Well, almost. Okay, so here it is. 
and as you can see at the bottom there I made a huge blob so to connect both plates back together and uh, well the both side of the cracked plate but yeah so uh, that close up the gap and uh, hopefully it's not gonna tear any further because I think it got hit and it hit something there and it made a small crack and then uh, over the years it just cracked whoops yeah and over the years it just cracked all the way up and if I would have left it like that it's gonna be uh, would have become a huge safety hazard and uh, well now it's uh, it's sorted so we can go back to doing uh, what I came to do uh, which is uh, setting up the welder for uh, bodywork so all right so uh, <laughs> thanks for watching and uh, yeah check that spot if you uh, have it been in Iraq or uh, just check it it's not the first time I've seen it I've seen uh, the area around the bolt cracking so this is much less of a problem than cracking around the bolt and you have to uh, rebuild all of that in the proper alignment here all I have to do is was to weld it back up and as you can see the the uh, the, the uh, crack wasn't even opened up it was it was still pretty good so uh, yeah so thanks for watching and I uh, hope that helps you out.